Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about the quotient of two functions. So what happens when you've got a function f of x, you've got a function g of x, and you divide f of x by g of x. So I've only got two and a half minutes on my memory card, so this is going to be kind of a quick video, but that's okay. So I've done videos on adding two functions, subtracting two functions, multiplying two functions, and this is the last one, dividing two functions. And I've used the same f of x and g of x in both of them so that you guys can see the pattern. So in this case I've got f of x is 5x minus 10, and g of x is can't talk and write at the same time, g of x is x minus 2. So all I'm going to do is find f of g of x, not as scary as it looks at all, so I was going to do f of x, which is 5x minus 10, divided by g of x, which is x minus 2. So the first thing I think I'm going to do, you could leave your answer like that, it's not wrong, it's just not simplified. So we're going to simplify it, just because, you know, you guys should too, and what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do anything with my x minus 2 on the bottom yet, but I notice I've got 5x minus 10, 5 and 10, they're both divisible by 5, so that's what I'm going to do, divide them by 5. So if I take 5x and I divide it by 5, I just get x. If I take negative 10 divided by 5, negative 10 divided by 5 is just negative 2, and a miracle has occurred. We've got something on the top, got the same thing on the bottom, so we can cancel those out since on the top we've got just being multiplied by 5. If we had, you know, plus 10 or something on the top, it doesn't work quite the same way, but that's not what we have. Good times, we've just got 5 multiplied by something on the top over something on the bottom. You can cross those out, and what I get is my answer is just 5. So just one little thing to mention, if x was 2, then I would have something that looks like that. 2 minus 2 is just 0. Anything divided by 0 is undefined. So if I have some number divided by 0, it's undefined. So we need to add a little qualification that x can't equal 2, or else we won't have a real answer. 